Hey, what's up guys? It's Reflex. Uh, today I'm recording in a different spot than usual, so I hope the audio is okay. But today I wanted to make kind of like a counter video to Gentleman's Gazette's video on mid-range pins. Um, you know, of course everyone has their own definition of mid-range, but being in the r slash pins discord, we see a lot of people come through asking for suggestions um, and a lot of the times their definition of mid-range or like a step up from beginner is anywhere from $20 to $100 so that's kind of what I'll be shooting for in this video. So let's go ahead and get into it. What I'm going to be doing is looking at each pin that was recommended uh, in the Gentleman's Gazette video and the reason why they were recommended and I'll give a cheaper option that I think fits into that category. And I think for each category, I have um, multiple options at various price ranges because 20 to 100 is still quite the, the stretch. So I tried to have something for someone who's on the low end of that and on the higher end of that. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first pin recommendation was the Pilot Vanishing Point also known as the Capless, for $120 to $150. They recommended it for someone who wants to upgrade from a ballpoint and or someone who wants to write quickly, like a doctor or something that needs to get that nib out as quick as possible. So my pin recommendation would also be <laughs> the Vanishing Point or Capless. However, I would say get them used or new on eBay. If you, the Vanishing Point and Capless are the same pin, just a different name in different markets. So what you can do is you can look for a Pilot Capless new. You can get those for uh, about $80 um, from Japan. Or if you want quicker shipping, which honestly I've ordered lots of pins from Japan on eBay and they're about just as quick as ordering something from America, but if you really want something from America, or the North America at least, then you can look for a used vanishing point and get that for about $100. You can also look for a Decimo, um, which is thinner and lighter and cheaper. I'll also give a shout out to the Platinum Carrot Ass, <laughs> as someone in the Discord said. I don't know how to actually pronounce it, like Curadas? Uh, Curadas? I don't know. It's a weird name. Um, that can be had for about $50 on Amazon, as well as the Mahjan A1, which is a blatant ripoff of the Pilot Vanishing Point, but it's like $30 or $40. So if you're okay with knockoffs, that can be a great option. I don't have one myself, but I've heard great things. The second pin recommendation was the Waterman Karen. I think is how they pronounced it, for about $120 to $300 for people who want a unique design and a heavier pen, or for the modern businessman. Uh, my recommendation here would be the Pilot Cavalier for about $36, as well as the Schaefer Targa for $50 to $120. They both have a similar style to the Waterman, but the Cavalier has a much more tame price. And the Targa can be had for about $50 with a gold-plated steel nib, um, but you can get a gold nib if you're willing to pay more, closer to that $120 range. Um, it's a great pin. It's definitely heavier, but it's just very nice. And the Targas will be older pins, but a lot of times they're new old stock, meaning they're old, but they were never used. So definitely be sure to read the listing. The link I'm including is for Peyton Street Pins, which has a reputation for being a little more expensive than say if you use eBay, but you definitely know what you're getting when you order from them. So that's a trade-off. Um, and they'll let you know if it's new old stock or if it's been used and if it's been used, what condition it's in. And you can really trust them over eBay, of course. Next up, they recommended the Lamy 2000 for $140 to $170 uh, for those who like iconic, simplistic designs and want a medium or le lead weight, uh, lightweight pin that's grippy. 
I'd say this was the toughest one for me to pick a good alternative, especially because I love the Lamy 2000. So of course I'd say it's worth it if you can save the money and are willing to spend that much, but I wouldn't call it mid-range and it certainly doesn't fit in today's budget. So my recommendation would be the Lamy CP1 for $60. The style is very similar to the Lamy 2000, but the CP1 has a steel nib and steel body. So it's probably kind of heavy, but I, th I think it's weighted well. Um, and for the money, I would say the Parker 51 wouldn't be a terrible choice. If you really love the specific style of the Lamy 2000, you can get a set of Jinhao, a set of two Jinhao 80s on Amazon for $15. Um, and I know that's under the budget, but it feels like it's worth mentioning. And I should also mention uh, the Parker 51, you can get for about 70 to $90 for a new modern one. They're honestly not great, but if you just really care about that classic style, it could be worth considering. And you can also get vintage ones on Peyton Street pens if you want one that writes really good but that'll be over $100. That'd probably be closer to $140, $150, I'm thinking. Hope I'm not boring you yet, because next up we have the Sailor 1911L for $200 to $280 for someone who wants a classic understated cigar design with a nice size and a high quality 21 karat nib. So, um, my recommendation is not going to have a high quality 21 karat nib, but I do have, let's see, three recommendations for this one. Actually, you know, four. So I'll go from cheapest to most expensive. Cheapest would be the Pilot Metropolitan. It's got that cigar design. Uh, they're known for their good nibs and let me set you down here um, when you post them they're a decent size I have very small hands but there's plenty of pen there um, next uh, the 20 about 25 dollars if I didn't mention Next recommendation, not quite the cigar shape, but you can find platinum pocket pens on eBay for $30 to $50. And those will usually have a 14 karat gold nib or an 18 karat gold nib. And they're pretty dang nice. I don't have one with me here, but I did have one in the past. It was pretty nice. And then I would recommend the Sailor Compass for 30 to 40 dollars ish it's got that classic d cigar design but they're translucent and they come in different colors as well as a clear one that's not quite classic understated but it does have that cigar design and uh, it's the same size as this which is the next recommendation the 1911s from sailor um, it can also be called the profit standard I will, of course, have a link down below. You can get these on Amazon for $70 to $100, and they'll come with a 14 karat gold nib. You can also get the versions with a steel nib for $30 to $40, I think. Um, and they're similar to the Sailor Compass, but with opaque bodies, if you don't want the kind of whimsical look of the translucent ones. But this one I got for $75, I think. It has a 14 karat broad nib. I hope it is in focus. It doesn't look like it is on my camera. But it's nice. It's a small pin, but when posted, I think it's enough pin for most people. And last but certainly not least, they recommended um, the Pilot Custom Heritage 823 for $270 to $290 for someone who wants a different design and smooth writing. So for this one, I had one, two, three, four recommendations as well. My first recommendation would be something that 
is kind of not very common, but the Twisby Precision, it's definitely got a different des design than most fountain pens on the market. Um, and for $83, it's a lot of money, especially for a Twisby, but I've heard great things about them and I think they look pretty nice. There's also the Opus 88 Colorow, however you say that, for about $93. Um, they also look pretty nice. I know they have great nibs, so that's definitely a good option. There's the Twisby 580, which is loved by lots of people. That's about $68. Um, it has a piston filler and you can swap the nibs very easily. I think you can with the Opus as well, as well as the next recommendation, which is the Narwhal. Narwhal, this word, <laughs> I don't even want to try to pronounce it, um, which can be had for $60 and I have one right here. Very nice looking pen. This is the longest and it comes with a nice Yovo 6 nib. And this is without it posted. You can see it's a pretty big pen. Let me go ahead and post it. Oh, I would not post this. I'll just put that out there. I don't like how it posts right on the piston knob. But it, it, it's definitely long if you do that. Um, oof, I would not do that though. So that's probably why they made it so long, so that you don't need to post it. Very nice pen um, for $60. It's pretty dang good, especially if you can find one on sale. That would be really nice. I don't really ever see them on sale though, so good luck with that. So those are all of my counter recommendations for mid-range pens. Um, a lot of them aren't particularly what I would buy, but if you're interested in these pens and you want something similar or with a, a similar idea in mind, I feel like those would be some better recommendations for a more reasonable price. Um, but I think next video will be a little more budget focused. So if these are still more expensive than you'd want, I'd recommend checking out next week's video and you'll have some better options, I hope. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions or recommendations for pens that you think would be better in these different categories, definitely let me know in the comments and I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Putin versus people. Evil versus good. Spank that little prick. Bare ass against wood. Spank him till he squeals.